Welcome to this episode in our Connect Everything series. Today we'll focus on Supplier Master Data Replication with SAP S4HANA and Cooper. Start by navigating to your Integration Suite instance. From there, head over to the Discover Integration section and search for Cooper. The Cooper adapter is central to this setup as it ensures smooth and secure data transmission between SAP S4HANA and Cooper platforms. Therefore, select the adapter package and copy it to your instance. After copying the adapter package to your instance, navigate to the Design Integrations and API section and search for the previously copied adapter package. Select the package, go to the artifacts, and select the adapter artifact. Go to the Actions menu and press Deploy. You can choose the runtime profile of your preference and select Yes. Now let's check if the Cooper adapter deployment was successful by navigating to Monitor Integrations and APIs and navigating to the Manage Integration Content tile. Here we can check if the Cooper adapter deployment was started successfully. Perfect, we can now move to the next task. We can now continue with the setup of the SAP S4HANA system. For this, I've written an extensive blog post that covers all the steps required to do the setup. Feel free to check it out. Before you can set up the replication of supplier master data, you need to make some customizing settings within Cooper. Those settings are published within the SAP Business Accelerator Hub. We therefore Navigate to the Adapter section and search for Cooper. You can select the Adapter package and go to the Document section. The documentation contains a section called Initialize OAuth Setup in Cooper. Please follow up with this section and I see you in the next step. With the configuration of the SAP S4HANA and the Cooper system, we can now continue with the configuration of the integration. We therefore head to the Integration Suite and go to the Discover Integration section. Let's search for Cooper. We select the SAP S4HANA integration with Cooper package and copy the package to our instance. Your next step is to configure the integration. Therefore, navigate to the Design Integrations and API section and select the previously copied package. Navigate to the Artifacts section and via the Actions menu, select Configure. You will now see the customization window for the integration. Start by setting the sender and receiver details. And when finished, you have the option to enable additional features such as message logging or email notification. Save the settings and deploy the scenario. Choose the runtime profile of your preference and select Yes. Finally, check the successful deployment of your integration scenario within the monitoring section. Now head over to the SAP S4HANA system and run transaction DRF underscore out. Select the previously created replication model in outbound implementation. Afterwards, select the Replication Mode Manual and select the filter criteria for the business partner you would like to replicate from your SAP S4HANA system to Cooper. With these settings, you have finalized your outbound implementation and can execute your integration. You can now check if the replication has started successfully. Let's now go to the SAP Integration Suite monitoring. Let's check if the message has been transmitted successfully. Yeah, looks like it has been transmitted successfully. So we can close out this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode in our Connect Everything series. Bye bye.